Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial about the automatic placement of symbols on graphics for the Siemens Management Station. You can use the automatic placement of symbols to create floor plan graphics with one single click operation. The system will automatically import the CAD files as a background and place the symbols corresponding to each object on the newly created graphics. This procedure needs the CAD files and object information as input. The necessary object information includes object identifiers that are needed to match the CAD objects exactly to those in the Management Station database and the geo coordinates that are needed to correctly position the objects on the graphics. This is the result you get after running the automatic symbols placement procedure. You have the floor plan graphic in the management station with a background imported from the CAD drawing and the object symbols placed in the correct position according to the CAD drawing configuration. Also, the system automatically creates depths, for example, one depth for zones and another depth for detectors, and layers. In this case, there is a layer for the background, another layer for automatic detectors, and a third layer for manual call points. Depths and layers are created based on the object types found while parsing the CAD drawing for the import. Furthermore, the system automatically calculates the proper zoom factor for each depth to keep the focus on the point of interest and its surrounding area. Let's take a closer look to see how this can be achieved. You start from the CAD drawings where some pre-configuration is needed. Here, you can have different layouts and several layers with different CAD elements. On the layers, some blocks representing the objects from the control panel can be configured. To each block, you can attach a specific attribute used as an identifier by the automatic placement function to exactly match the panel object to the object in the database. For example, on this layer, we have a block with a list of attributes. Automatic placement uses the attribute element ID as the matching criteria. Please bear in mind that the CAD drawings are typically configured prior to the management station and come ready for import through the automatic symbols placement. Once the configuration in the CAD files is complete, you can save your CAD drawings in a folder on the computer where you want to run the automatic placement procedure. Before you start, you need to make sure that the Graphics Tools extension module is installed and part of your project. You can check this in the System Management Console in the Extensions Information Expander. Then you must configure the field system, FS20 for example, in the project so that you can place the objects on the floor plan graphics. Once you have completed this step, go to the Management view in System Settings and select the Advanced CAD Importer node. Then, switch to Engineering mode, where a dedicated user interface will appear in the primary pane to guide you through the configuration. First, browse and select the package containing the CAD files you want to import and then click the right arrow in the toolbar to move to the next page. Once the content of the selected package has finished loading, the list of graphics will be displayed. In this video tutorial, I'm going to select My Attic Graphic. For the selected graphics, you can then choose to configure which CAD layout and layer you want to import. Additionally, you can configure the CAD blocks representing your objects with the relative attribute so they can be used as object identifiers. Next, choose the symbol style you want to use in the imported graphics 
and the parameter you want to use as the matching criteria. It can be one of the following, system browser name, a technical text given by the control panel configuration, system browser description, also known as customer text, or the SIBX element ID if you have the FS20 system. The configuration is now complete and you are ready to start the automatic placement procedure to create the graphics and place the objects. Once completed, you can check the import results in either the summary or the detailed log file. As a final step, check the imported graphics and make sure the objects are positioned correctly. Be aware that the procedure can be rerun multiple times for a step-by-step -step configuration. Any customization you make to graphic descriptions, names, and symbol instances will not be affected by subsequent re-imports. For additional details regarding the automatic placement functionality, you can refer to the Advanced CAD Importer section of the online help. Thank you for watching this video.